So they say that Dubai is a tax-free country. How how true is that? Right. So uh, we don't have any income tax. Mm -hmm. So any tax on your income is not there, okay. direct or indirect. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have any capital gain tax. So when you buy and sell a property, whatever amount of profit you make, you are not taxed on that. Okay. Uh, residential property, uh, there is no VAT, mm -hmm. but we have VAT on goods and services, okay. and we have VAT on commercial properties. All right. But that's again how the VAT works is refundable to the previous person, mm -hmm. right? So essentially there is no tax except the value added tax on goods and services mm -hmm. which has been recently introduced. In terms of residential property, your rental income is not taxed, your capital gain is not taxed. The only thing that you have to pay to the government while buying a property is a 4% registration fees. Okay. So that's your land department registration fees where you are legal owner and registered owner of that property in Dubai. Okay. What is your rental return here in Dubai? So basically it depends on areas. Okay. Generally we say on apartments rental return is between 6 to 8 okay. percent okay, per annum mm -hmm. which is actually one of the highest in the world. Okay. And bear in mind and I've said this earlier also this is in dollar terms because wow. because uh, dirhams is pegged to dollars yes so you're earning six to eight percent per annum in dollars now if you go luxury properties mm -hmm. the rental returns will start dipping mm -hmm. if you will go to non-primary properties the rental return will increase okay. that's thumb rule across the world in real estate okay. if you will buy a huge mansion you cannot expect a six percent or eight percent return. Mm -hmm. then your return is going to be one or one and a half percent mm -hmm. If you buy a studio or a one bedroom apartment which is for employees, which is for middle class people, mm -hmm. you can expect to make 7-8% net return on that property. Wow, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. And more interesting thing on the top of that is mortgage here is available at around 3-3.5%. Three, three okay. So which means that if you take a property on mortgage, mm -hmm. your rental income is 8 mm -hmm. and your mortgage is 3.5. Mm -hmm. For example in India, just to compare. Mm -hmm. Mortgage uh, value is 11, 11.5%. That's the rate of interest for the bank. Yeah. And your in rental income is 2%. So there is an 8% negative. Yeah. Here there is a 6% positive. positive. Yes. That's wow. the difference.